Medi Log Darwin Workflow. Double click on the patient for it to open directly on your Darwin screen. You will have patient data, recording data, the possible the, uh, patient diary, and the different approaches. On the template side, you will have the different morphologies that has been have been uh, detected by the machine. You will have the normal beats. This number up here, it's a number of beats with this same morphology. These are the number of beats with this same morphology. We see that they are not abnormal. Just click and drag so that you unite them. Uh, now let's go to the analysis of these ven ventriculars. We can see that these beats are really not ventricular. You can see the, the beat that's being analyzed. These are really normal beats. So we reclassify, right click on the morphology and reclassify everything. We can either keep them separate or drag and drop to the normal beats. As for the ventricular beats, we can see that the morphologies are same kind of beat, just drag and drop. There you have everything together. We have just put the normals here. In strip directory, what you will have would be the classification of beats depending on the rhythms. For example, here you will have only the active things, trigeminisms. We have two trigeminisms, 49 ventriculars, six supraventriculars. You can drag down and see if they are not. If you click on whatever strip, you will have the big strip down. Two periods of tachycardia, long QT, one of ST depression. When you get to maximum and minimum uh, heart rate, you need to make sure that the automatic systems have been correct, that it's not noise, etc. This is really the maximum heart rate. Go down to the strip, right click, and set as maximum heart rate. Same thing with minimum heart rate. Here we have bradycardia and you set as minimum heart rate. You can also check if you want the events to be chronologically by length or by severity on screen. On the right side of the screen, what you have is the different events, how they happen on time. Okay, so you have all the, the, the times and the different things that you can find directly here. For example, this is long QT, it highlights, and it gives you the time. QT measurement, you will have your trend, the QT, corrected QT trend. You will have also your QT summary, and you can select any, any place and see the traces there. On, if you click where it says QT Summary Table and go to Configure, you can select which formula you want to use between Basset, Fredericia, Pfeiffer, or Sagi. You can change the source, either Auto Detect or One Channel Only, Length of Episodes, Minimum Long QT, and heart rates to be analyzed. Once this is done, just click on OK and accept. Now we have changed this. If you need, if you want to actually measure the QT, go to the strip, right click, and go to Show on Dot. Now you have a bigger trace in which you can Click at the beginning of QRS, click at the end of T, and then you will have the actual measurement of that, of that QT. You can compare by dragging the cursors from one bit to the other. For ST measurement, you will have the trend of the ST, on the three channels, all the episodes, 
where, when they happened, how they happened, where are the levels, the duration, etc. You can also see the analysis bit by bit. Okay. You can use the standard measurement or you can also change to <clears throat> fixed time. For example, instead of measuring at 70, we will measure at 40 milliseconds after J point. We apply it. Okay. And as you see, now we have several other events because we changed the measuring point. Heart rate variability on time domain. You have the full table directly. You can see uh, is here it is every uh, five minutes by programming. And you will have your Lorentz graph on the dispersion of heart rate variability. When you go to your tabular summary, you will have all the events happening hour hourly. You just click on the events that you see here, let's see, 10 ventriculars. And you, when you click there, you see that it opens a strip and you can review them one by one without any trouble. Full disclosure, the whole recording is displayed on the three channels in front of you. You can scroll up or down. Every part that's in blue, that means that there's something happening there, an automated uh, detection of anything, what, what, whatever. Okay, here we have long QTs, or you can have also ventriculars, whatever it's detected by the machine would be in blue. You can select any part. If you want to print this as something interesting, just right click and go to add to print queue. And that moment, it sends it to the print queue directly. If you click on that, you can change the name, put any anything uh, that describes what you're looking at. At the beginning, you have the trending in which after you have cleaned the recording, you can see in one single screen all the different events that happened and see their dispersion during the time.